quite a uh, live video. Let's get some light in here because I'm uh, interested in doing this and I want to build uh, build an audience, build a, a channel, build a, I don't know. I'm going to post this up to YouTube as well so that we've got uh, many, many forms of interaction occurring here. So I want to get light in here as well. That's cool. So it's Friday the 21st of May 2021 and I have got a busy day ahead of me because today I'm starting three new businesses uh, following my motif of the guy group kind of idea. So I had the computer guy business for and I ran for 10 years and that was uh, super good fun. I'm going to resurrect that. I'm going to call it the computer guy 2. And then uh, run, uh, start up a, a business called The Video Guy, The Underwater ROV Guy, The Underwater Remote Operated Vehicle Guy, and The Photo Guy. So I'm going to cover uh, with this camera here, this will do 1080p, it's a Canon M3, uh, does 1080p video and does pretty good resolution still photography. So. You don't need top-end gear to get into this and do good work, uh, I've discovered. I'm settling on 1080p because 4K is just, it's too cumbersome. It is too unwieldy. Uh, and on YouTube and everything else, you're, you're looking on, at, at videos on your mobile devices, which, which you know, are small and tiny, and 1080p is adequate, and it's, 1080p is easy to work with, and... Uh, Anyway, there you go. Most people don't even know the difference. So I've got an old Canon XA10 camcorder. The reason I've gone camcorder is that it has a high-powered zoom. So something like, I can't remember now. It's written, it should be written on it. What is it? 40 times zoom, 20 times zoom, something like that. Uh, it's got really good capabilities in terms of producing nice video and audio. So I've got two... Uh, shotgun microphones, one for the back so I can talk, one for the front pickup audio. Uh, flip out LCD monitor, kind of built in, which is nice. Uh, and it's, it's good enough. Uh, it has 64 gigabytes, 64 gigabytes internal RAM. Two slots, two SD slots to take, uh, I think I've got 128 gigabyte, no, 256 gigabyte uh, uh, SD cards in there. So 256 plus a... 64, so that's about 384 in there, 64 again, so it's around about uh, 400 and something gigabytes of storage. And with this, it does uh, fill up card A, move over to card B when that's filled, then go to the internal. So it's like continuous filling up of available space as well, so that's, uh, it's got some very good features like that. And it does a reasonably good job, most of my videos on YouTube are filmed with or videoed with that. Then this, oh my god, this thing is so cool. I love this thing to death. This is a, um, a small rig, where are we? A small rig Franken, Franken cinemascope camera, whatever you want to call it. It's just mashed together bits and pieces. There's a battery holder here with a, a very big battery that powers this Canon EOS M1. That's right, Canon EOS M1. It's a 2012 camera. Typically does 1080p, but you can... Uh, configure this with Magic Lantern, a free software firmware download, to then make it up to, I think, 5K? Yeah, because it just basically takes over the camera, <clears throat> um, works out how to control the hardware directly, and pushes it to the limit. So the sensor in that is really good. Canon released it as a 1080p maximum video camera. Magic Lantern on top has just expanded the capability. 14-bit color. Uh, 5K resolution as a maximum. I'll probably just stick to 1080 again using the 14-bit uh, color, so you get fantastic color reproduction. So I've got a, a pretty good Canon modified EFS 10 to 18 mil uh, lens in there, attached to the uh, Canon EFM to EF, uh, EF, yeah, Canon EF adapter, so that you can adapt all these other kind of uh, lenses to it. 
It's got follow focus system here, so it'll do uh, manual focus, which is what most cinema cameras do, and a matte box in, in here with a ND filter as well, uh, and the, the Rode video mic uh, attached to the top also. So that does really good quality video, very happy with it, and really good audio as well. That's going to be like for um, paid work that I'll do, and then that will fund me upgrading this eventually to a proper uh, a proper named name brand, like proper cinema camera down the track. But at the time being, that is more than adequate. Uh, on top of that, we've got these two. These are not GoPros, but these forty dollar cameras. They're forty dollars each. They're like a fraction of the cost of a GoPro, and they do as good a job as a GoPro in terms of the video coming out um, that I've seen on YouTube. So. For 40 bucks, I can throw those, literally throw those across the room, get video, like really unusual type of videos from these devices, and I don't care if they get smashed, I'll just buy another one. A mount for the car, so I can mount uh, phones and cameras in the car dr driving along. This is going to be something I need to do today. I've got to attach that. That's a quarter, uh, quarter thread, or is it three eighths? Might be three, uh, that's quarter thread, um, ma a camera mount, uh, which will then have this attached to that. So I've got to get a bolt which will go all the way through that handle, through this, and into that to then attach a camera to that, which I can then suction cup onto a car to get video while I'm driving the car without having to worry about holding the stupid camera. So that's what I've got to try and do today as well and that'll get me all going to do some video work and eventually paid video work. Paid video work, which would be awesome. So I'll put my camera gear here. I am actually booking myself in with a guy that I know, Laria, who is an African-American living here in Sydney. I'm going to take my, uh, my probably the camcorder and the M3 with me and we'll do a photo shoot of this um, of Laria uh, and I think it's going to look really awesome because I want to do black and white with a particular harsh lighting to emphasize like he's, he's quite a, a physically uh, fit person and he's got a, a, a he's been working out and he just looks really good like very muscular uh, so I want to capture some images of him for him to use for his portfolio and I'll use it for uh, publishing publicizing, promoting what, what I want to do as well. And um, so you're seeing the inaugural launch of the photo guy, the, the video guy, and the computer guy too, right now. Uh, got to get insurances organized. Oh, the other thing, oh my God, this is, um, this is the, um, the RO, ROV guy, the underwater ROV guy. Man, I haven't seen that in a long time. What is this? So I bought, I bought this a while ago. This is uh, a company out of China called Chasing Innovation. This thing is awesome. It's so much fun. It is a, uh, think of the Beatles, Yellow Submarine. That's what it is. It's an underwater, remotely operated vehicle with uh, a 4K camera here, two I think they're 2,000 lumens LED lights, so it'll basically make broad daylight down in the depths of the ocean or rivers. It uh, does seawater and freshwater diving to 100 meters. 30, 100 meters? 100 meters, I think. I think it's 30 meters, I can't remember. It doesn't actually say anymore. It says it, but it's, it's all scratched off down the bottom, I can't tell. I'll have to look at the manual. Anyway, it's a, uh, in a uh, what's it called? Chasing Innovation Gladius Mini. That's a Mini, apparently. Like, that's huge. Um, I've not used it in a little while. So make sure all the motors still... Yeah, they still turn, that's good. Ooh, that one's a bit stiff as well. So I've got two motors, which I probably need to replace at some point, but this thing is so much fun. I've got one video on the YouTube channel demonstrating the footage that you can get out of this. Um, and it is very cool, very cool. I've got to clean that lens so that we don't get any smudge things happening. 
shouldn't really use my fingers, but anyway, there you go. So you're um, witnessing the birth of three simultaneous little mini micro businesses, which are kind of related. They're all to do with some kind of video work. Oh, the other thing then is the um, the drone, and I call myself the drone guy. It says four businesses. I'm going to do the drone as well. So I've got an RPA, RP, REPL, remote pilot license for drone operation to fly legally up to seven kilogram mass uh, drones. I've got to get my AROC so that I can fly drones in and around Sydney Harbour legally as well. Because um, then I've got to get an REOC, which is a, a registered operated certificate to become um, authorised to do those kind of flights. So there's a fair bit of work I've got to do still on the drone side of things. But um, now that I'm in business, I've got free time, I can devote that time to finishing my AROC exam and then applying for REOC certification. Uh, that will then give me four sources of potential income. Um, and I'm going to basically charge a lot up front. I'll do one or two freebies. So the job with I'm going to do with Laria is one. Uh, I'm not going to charge him. Uh, I hope he's not going to charge me. <laughs> we'll see. And then um, we'll put uh, pictures up, uh, making the best quality that I can. And I can just see outside that my oranges, my orange tree has got oranges on them. You're not going to be able to see that. Dang, because it's all washed out there. Um, I'm going to pick an orange and show you what I mean. I love these oranges. They're so fresh. rained last night. Check it out. That's off the tree. There's like 20 on there. This is uh, yum. Alright, I'll eat that later. So there you go. That's what I've got planned to do today. So I've got to get all of that organized. Let me see if anyone's wanting to have a chat. Ask any questions or whatever. I think that's going live. Should be live. So look. Doesn't actually so, uh, what's happening? Oh, it may not have gone live, I don't believe it. Did it go live? Oh, I think it did. Yeah, okay, cool, it's gone live. Uh, I just want to see if there's anyone... That's cool. Uh, it's very early in the morning. Sorry. Yeah, it's early. Is it early in the morning? It's actually not early in the morning here. Well, no, it's kind of late. It's kind of late everywhere else in the world, so there's probably no one in an overseas place. That's cool. All right, I'm going to go. So I'll do this um, on a regular basis, uh, basis, like a Friday. 